Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are they that mourn, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are they which do hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they shall be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the children of God. Blessed are they which are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are ye when men shall revile you and persecute you, shall say all manner of evil against you for my sake. Rejoice, and be exceedingly glad, for great is your reward in heaven. For so they persecuted the prophets which are before you. But the salt of the world. But if salt has lost its savor, how can it be salted? The sense where it's good for nothing but to be cast out, to be trodden under the foot of men. Near the light of the world, a city that is set on a hill cannot be hid. Neither do men light a candle and put it under a bushel, but on a candlestick, and it giveth light to all them that are in the house. So let your light so shine before men, that they may see your good works, and glorify your Father which is in heaven. Think not I have come to destroy the law or the prophets, I have not come to destroy but to fulfill. Verily I say unto you, to heaven and earth pass not one jot or tittle shall in no wise pass from the law to all be fulfilled. There whoever shall break one of the least of the commandments, and shall teach men so, the same shall be called least in the kingdom of heaven. But whoever shall do and teach them, the same shall be called great in the kingdom of heaven. By saying to you that except your righteousness shall exceed the righteousness of the scribes and Pharisees, you shall in no case enter into the kingdom of heaven. You've heard that it's been said of those of old, thou shalt not kill, and whoever shall kill will be in danger of the judgment. But I say unto you that whoever is angry with his brother without a cause shall be in danger of the judgment. Whoever shall say to his brother, Raka, shall be in danger of the council. But who shall say, Thou fool, shall be in danger of hellfire. Therefore, if thou bring thy gift to the altar, and thou rememberest that thy brother hath aught against thee, leave there the gift before the altar, and go thy way. First be reconciled to thy brother, and then come and offer thy gift. Agree with thine adversary quickly, while thou art in the way with him. Lest at any time the adversary deliver thee to the judge, the judge deliver you to the officer, and you be cast into prison. Really I say unto you that shall by no means come out thence, till thou hast paid the uttermost farthing. You've heard that it was said of though them of old time, thou shalt not commit adultery. But I say to you that whoever looketh upon a woman to lust after her hath already committed adultery with her in his heart. Thy right eye offend thee, pluck it out, and cast it from thee, for it is profitable for thee that one of, the, one of thy members should perish, and that thy whole body be cast into hell. And if thy right hand offend thee, cut it off, cast it from thee, for it is profitable for thee that one of thy members should perish, and that thy whole body should be cast into hell. Been said, Whosoever shall put away his wife, let him give her a writing of divorcement. I say unto you that whosoever shall put away his wife, saving for the cause of fornication, causeth her to, to commit adultery, and whoso shall marry her that is divorced committeth adultery. Again, you have heard that's been said by them of old, thou shalt forswear thyself, but thou shalt not forswear thyself, but shalt perform unto the Lord thine oath. But I say, swear not at all, neither by heaven, for it is God's throne, neither by Swear not by the earth, for is his footstool, neither by Jerusalem, for is the city of the great king. Neither shall thou swear by thine head, because thou cannot make one hair white or black. But let your communication be yea, yea, nay, nay. For whatsoever is more than this cometh from evil. You have heard and said, An eye for an eye, a tooth for a tooth. I say unto you, Resist not evil. Whosoever shall smite thee in the right cheek, turn to him the other also. If any man will sue thee at the law, and take away thy coat, let him have thy cloak also. 
Or we shall compel thee to go a mile, quoth in twain. Give to him that asketh thee from him that would borrow from thee. Turn not thou away. And you have heard, but it's been said, Thou shalt love thy neighbor and hate thine enemy. But I say unto you, love thine enemies. Bless them that curse you, do good to them that hate you. Pray for them which despitefully use you and persecute you, that you may be children of your Father which is in heaven. For maketh his Son <clears throat> to rise on the evil and on the good, and sendeth rain on the just and on the unjust. For if you love them which love you, reward of you. Do not even publicans the same? And if you salute your brethren only, what do you more than others? Do not even publicans so? Be therefore perfect, even as your Father which is in heaven is perfect. Take heed not to do your alms before men to be seen of them. Otherwise you have no reward of your Father which is in heaven. Therefore, when thou doest thine alms, do not sound a trumpet before thee as the hypocrites do in the synagogues and in the streets that they may have glory of men. Verily I say unto you, they have their reward. But when thou doest alms, let not thy left hand know what thy right hand doeth, that thy alms may be in secret. And thy father which seeth in secret shall reward thee openly. And when thou prayest, thou shalt not be as the hypocrites are, for they love to pray standing in the synagogues and in the corners of the streets that they may be seen of men. Or let's say they have the reward. But thou when thou prayest, enter into thy closet. And when thou hast shut the door, pray to thy father which is in secret. And thy father which seeth in secret shall reward thee openly. But when thou pray, use not vain repetitions, as the heathen do. For they think they shall be heard for their much speaking. Be not ye therefore like them. For your father knoweth things you have need of before you ask him. After this manner, therefore, pray ye. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be it thy name. Let thy kingdom come, and thy will be done. Let it be on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our debts. Forgive us our debts as we forgive sins. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and glory forever. Amen. For if you forgive men their trespasses, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. But if you forget not, if you forgive not men their trespasses, neither will your Father forgive your trespasses. Whatsoever when you fast, be not as the hypocrites of a sad countenance. Therefore they disfigure their faces, that they may appear unto men the fast. Or at last say, they have the reward. But when you fast, anoint your Anoint thine head, and wash thy face, that thou appear not unto men to fast, but unto thy father which is in secret. And thy father which seeth in secret shall reward thee openly. Lay not up for yourselves treasures upon earth, where moth and rust corrupts, and where thieves break through and steal. But lay up for yourself treasures in heaven, where neither moth nor rust doth corrupt, and where thieves do not break in and steal. For where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. For the light of the body is the eye. If therefore thine eye be single, thy whole body shall be full of light. But if thy eye be evil, the whole body shall be full of darkness. And therefore the light that is in thee be darkness. How great is the darkness. No man can serve two masters, for he will hate the one and love the other, or else he will hold to the one and despise the other. You cannot serve God and mammon. Therefore I say, take no thought for your life, what you shall eat, or what you shall drink, nor for what your body, what you shall put on. Is not life more than meat, and the body more than raiment? We hold the fowls of the air, for they sow not, neither do they reap, nor they gather in barns. Yet your heavenly, <coughs> your heavenly Father feedeth them. Are you not much more better than they? Which of you, by taking thought, can add one cubit to a stature? Why take ye thought for raiment to consider the lilies of the field, how they grow and they toil not, and how they do they spin? Yet I say unto you that even Solomon in all his glory was not arrayed like one of these. Wherefore, if God so clothed the grass of the field which today is, and tomorrow cast into the oven, shall he, death, shall he not much more clothe you, O ye of little faith? 
Therefore take no thought, saying, What shall we eat, what shall we drink, or what shall we be clothed? For all these things do the Gentiles seek, for your heavenly Father knoweth that you have need of these things. But seek first the kingdom of God, and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added to you. Take therefore no thought for the morrow. The morrow, the morrow shall take thought for the things of itself. Sufficient unto the day is the evil thereof. Judge not, you will not be judged. Condemn not, and you won't be condemned. For the measure you meet is measured to you. Again, why beholdest thou the mote that is in your brother's eye when you have a rod in your own eye? And how wilt thou say to thy brother, let me pull out the mote of thine eye, and behold, a beam? as in thine own eye. The hypocrite, first cast out the beam that is in thine own eye, and thou shalt see clearly to cast out the mote out of thy brother's eye. Give not that which is holy unto the dogs, and not cast your pearls before swine, lest they trample them under their feet, and turn again and rend you. Ask, it shall be given you. Seek, you shall find. Knock, and it shall be opened unto you. For everyone that asks, receiveth. He that seeketh, findeth. To him that knocketh, it shall be opened. Or what man is there of you, whom if his son asks bread, will it give him a stone? Or if he ask a fish, will it give him a serpent? If ye then, being evil, know how to give good gifts unto your children, how much more shall your Father which is in heaven give good things to them that ask him? Therefore all things whatsoever ye would that men should do to you, do even so to them. For this is the law and the prophets. Enter ye in at the straight gate, for wide is the gate, and broad is the way that leadeth to destruction. And many there be that go therein, because straight is the gate, and narrow is the way that leadeth to life, and few there be that find it. Beware of false prophets, which come unto you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly they are raven and wolves. Ye shall know them by their fruits. Do men gather grapes of thorns, or figs of thistles? Even so, every good tree bringeth forth good fruit, but a corrupt tree bringeth forth evil fruit. A good tree cannot bring forth evil fruit, neither can a corrupt tree bring forth good fruit. And every tree is known by its fruit. Any tree that bringeth forth not good fruit is, is hewn down and cast into the fire. Wherefore, by your fruits you shall know them. Not every one that saith to me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven. But he that doeth the will of my Father which is in heaven. Many will say unto me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name, and in thy name we cast out devils, <clears throat> and in thy name done many wonderful works? And then I will profess to them, I never knew you. Depart from me that work iniquity. Therefore, whoever heareth these sayings of mine and doeth them, I will like him unto a wise man that built his house upon a rock. For the rains descended, and the floods came, and the winds blew, and beat upon that house, and it fell not, for it was founded upon a rock. <clears throat> and every one that heareth these sayings of mine, and doeth them not, shall be likened unto a foolish man, which built his house upon the sand. And the rains descended, and the floods came, and the winds blew, and beat upon that house, and it fell. Great was the fall of it. Pity it. Shalom 